the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always Namaste friends in the previous lecture we saw about the glacier vault in today's lecture we'll be seeing about encryption what is this encryption so when i was actually growing up now say suppose you are in a family function and you want to pass on one important message to one of your friend and the person that you don't want to share the news is there so we'll use some kind of a sign language or we'll use some kind of a language to make sure like only you two understand so you actually encrypt it right or you use some secret to thing right this is called encryption how was this encryption used in s3 and what are all the different ways we can actually encrypt is what we are going to be seeing in this lecture let's take a deep dive namaste friends so in today's lecture we'll be seeing about encryption so so far in s3 what all have we seen creating a bucket uploading the object uh, <clears throat> the life cycle management the storage classes and then the vault the worm methodology uh, in a right ones read many so today we'll be seeing about the encryption so encryption we all know what an encryption is like you don't want persons to know what you have actually written what you have actually stored <clears throat> so then you actually encrypt it by using a hash algorithm or like you know some kind of a mechanism and after you encrypt you actually decrypt this is like coding in and uncoding now say suppose uh, i don't want persons to know my name as prasanna so what i do is before every p i add a 1 every r i add a 0 um and you know every a i add a 2 so i i only know what is what so the from the person on the i actually encrypt by name and the person on the other side can actually decrypt it by knowing the code what i have actually given so this is the encryption and the decryption so we are going to be seeing what are all the different kinds of encryptions uh you know what is enforcing the server side encryption let's actually have a quick look into the console demo in the you know in in what i'm going to be showing and you know the exam tips which is possibly can actually occur you know you know in the architect solution so the encryption is basically there is an encryption at transit which is while moving there is an encryption at rest and you know there is a client side encryption so the encryption at transit is like you now all the web based and stuff of that nature where this ssl which is like secured server layer tls <coughs> ssl/tls and then https So if you see, like we have two things, right? One is a HTTP, which is a normal protocol, <clears throat> and then we have a HTTPS, which is a secure protocol. So if you are actually buying any, like you know, web guy, you know, services, like you know, the HTTPS is lot more expensive because it is lot more secure. This is the encryption in transit, and we have an encryption at rest. <laughs> While this at rest, so the encryption at rest are three kinds. One is an SSC. at s s3 one is an sse at kms which is a key management service which is used by key and the s3 is a managed key which is a 256 encryption bit encryption which is a you know which is a pretty good enough and then c is a customer given okay so one is a customer given key management service and then the normal standard encryption using 256 bits <coughs> and then encryption at rest there is also a client side encryption okay where you actually encrypt the files yourself before you upload them to the s3 so these are all the different types of encryption which is actually available <clears throat> so uh, in enforcing the server side encryption there are two ways to do it one is a console and the other is a bucket policy so in the console we actually select an encryption okay and then like you know setting on s3 bucket this is one of the easiest way and in the bucket policy you can also enforce encryption using a bucket policy uh, you know sometimes this method actually comes up okay <clears throat> so always every time a file has been uploaded to s3 a put request is actually initiated okay so put get and all those things are there right so put request has been initiated every time <clears throat> so uh there are you know as i said like you know uh, the server side encryption is uploaded encrypted and uh, the standard standard key is like 256 bit <clears throat> uh the kms is key management services so put head request is when this parameter is included in the header the put actually tells the sc to actually encrypt the object at the time of upload using a specific encryption method okay so by telling like you know which exactly you want but you know using the put you actually say like whether it is s3 kms or c all right uh, 
So this is the put request. Uh, you know, this actually like you know encrypts using the you know 256 bit at the time of upload. Okay. Um, so you know anything you know which can actually put like you know by you can create a bucket policy that denies any S3 put request that does not include the following command amz server site encryption okay so you can also de deny you can actually play with it all right so uh, what did we learn we learned about the encryption and transfer which is a secure server layer and tls https uh, the encryption at rest which is the s3 kms and uh, c and then the client side in encryption and then enforcing the encryption of the bucket policy so the bucket policy can deny all the put requests which does not include x dash ame dash server side dash encryption okay so with the bucket policy whichever does not have this put header request you can actually deny everything by default or in other words if you're going to upload images you can actually deny every document which does not have the name of say uh, you know um, appraisal work okay so in that case like you know whichever does not have that name every document is actually denied so that is exactly what it actually putting in and you can actually have this at the uh, bucket policy level all right so having said that let's actually get into the console let's actually see how to do this okay so here we go the console so you all know the s3 management console so the services you go through s3 so you've gone into the s3 so let's actually get into the s3 so in the s3 i have this bucket and here what i do is i go to the properties so in my properties i have a bucket versioning i you know it's enabled uh, and then i have a default encryption uh, <clears throat> okay and in in the encryption key the server access log uh, you know even bridge transfer calculation so request a page static website let's not worry about it so this is what is then the properties in the permissions if you actually see <clears throat> okay the bucket policy access control list okay corrs so we, you know these these things are there uh, let's see what is in the management the life cycle management so this point is not there so let's actually go to this thing okay so the default encryption let's actually click on this so the default encryption is s3 so it is not a key management service and if you see it is disabled you can actually enable this okay you can either choose s3 kms or the customer given key in this case it is not there so we only have two kinds okay uh, and you this was dis disabled by default but you can actually enable it it is as simple as that and then the keys are encrypted whatever this bucket is actually encrypted i don't want to encrypt this i'm going to cancel this but i've actually shown you how to do it so feel free to do it and if you have any questions you know where to contact me all right uh, so till we see next time take care cheers and thanks for giving me your time namaste friends i trust you have actually watched and enjoy my s3 encryption if you have any questions you know I know you can always contact me. I'll try to actually explain to the best of my abilities. Like always, I'd like to thank two persons. One is you for giving me a golden time. And the other is my wife, Jayashi, following me to follow my passion. Till we see you next time. Take care. Cheers.